Hey guys, welcome back. I have a different type of video for you today. I wanted to show you how to save your coupons from the coupons.com to your computer so that you can print them at a later date. Um, I did have a request for this video and I have no problem doing that. Um, and that way it is in my library of videos and I can always refer it back to people when I mention it later. That way it's easier for uh, other people. So what I'm doing now is I'm just on coupons.com and I'm going through and I'm clipping coupons that interest me. And I am using a screen recorder for this on my laptop. So if it's a little jerky or whatever, then I do apologize. Um, but this was the best way for me to show you how to do it is for you to see me actually do it and not do uh, screenshots and do a slideshow. So definitely go to coupons.com and flip through or you know scroll through and look for the coupons that you would like. Um, I can try and do this on a uh, like my phone and see how that goes, um, but we'll see. I, I don't know if I can do it if it's even an option on my phone. Now how I got this idea was that there was a I have a Facebook group. And there was a woman in there, and she was posting, uh, she's one of my subscribers, and she was posting some things that, um, you know, that's just kind of basic helpful tips. And she posted this, and I was like completely floored that you could do this and was so happy about it because for uh, the past few months, I've just been having stacks and stacks and stacks of printable coupons and not really utilizing them all, not because... Um, I didn't know how to. It's just that I was using the coupons instead that I get in the newspaper or the digital ones instead of the printable ones. Um, so, yeah, I uh, now I don't because I've been doing this for the past few weeks, and it's actually pretty nice. Um, so, yeah, she put up a couple of graphics um, or a couple of screenshots of her computer. Now, as you can see, I use a MacBook. I do not have a Windows desktop computer or Windows laptop. and um, But what she did is she showed how to do it in the uh, couple of screenshots of how to do it in the Windows. So I asked her nicely if I could put those up in my video. Her name is Silky Martin. Um, I'm not sure of her uh, YouTube name. I do believe it's Aisha Martin. Um, but... Uh, she was very nice to put that up in the group, and I'm very happy to put this video out for you today. So now I have just hit the print button at the top, like you would if you were going to print them out. And then the little box is going to come up about, you know, how many copies do you want to print, what pages do you want to print, all that kind of jazz. And so down in the corner of that box, there is a little drop down for me that says PDF and then you can select the many different options and just select the one that says save as a PDF and you're going to want to click on that and um, so this is for a Mac unfortunately but there is the same type of thing in a Windows computer and I will show that here in a second so now that I'm just going to pick where I want it and I'm going to name it uh, coupons two I think it is and then it's just going to save in my documents folder and then I do believe I show you um, what it looks like oh no I'm going to show it what the windows looks like so there you're going to click on the destination part under save you're not going to save anything yet um, or print anything so don't print them first um, and then click save as a PDF and then the you know the windows gonna pop up on how and where you want to save it so then you just name it and save it on the best that would work for you it looks like she saved them by coupon um, that might be a little bit easier to do um, but I have only done this for a few weeks so I don't know how I'm gonna name them or save them yet exactly so then now it shows you successfully printed them um, but you haven't printed them, they are just available on your computer. So I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to show you 
um, the documents folder of mine and then I'm just going to click and open and it's going to open up in Adobe Reader. And there they are and I'll be able to print them. Now this is where it could get a little murk, not murky, but um, or tempting, but please don't do it. Um, just print them the one time and then, you know, delete them uh, after you print them because that barcode up in the top right corner is unique to that coupon. And if you print them more than once, then it'll have the same unique number and it will be, um, it will be, uh, a fraud type situation because um, you're copying those com those uh, coupons and you don't want to do that so now what I'm doing is I'm just going through again to show you um, that so like when I'm on the coupons.com I usually have to if I want to reprint the coupons which you can and then the coupon will get a unique number for the second time um, so what you'll want to do with like for me in this situation, I always have to scroll down to the bottom and I see the coupons that um, I've already printed and I just check, 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 check them all out and or check them all and or clip them all, I guess you could say. And then I do the same thing again. So if it is a little choppy, I do apologize. I hope it is clear and concise for you. Um, if you have any other questions, please just let me know. Um, I'm not 100% coupon savvy, but uh, typically I do all right with coupon or uh, computer knowledge, not coupon knowledge. Um, so yes, just, just clip them all again. Now these are 50 cent off Scott um, and not a dollar, but some people are getting a dollar off. I just wanted to add that. So there it shows I got a limit reach of the OxyClean, which, meh, that's all right. So now I'm just going to go through the process again. I have 20 coupons. It's telling me that it's preparing my coupons to print. Um, if you want to print them, you know, just go ahead and print them and that doesn't bother you. But if you want to save them so you can save some paper and some ink and um, storing the, you know, the printable coupons, then by all means, go ahead and uh, save them as a PDF. And so I'm just going to name them again, and then I'm going to show you the screenshots one more time of the Windows version, how to do it. But it's pretty simple, and it's a game changer for me because um, I will print and print and print and print and print out so many internet printables. So yeah. So just make sure that you click um, save as a PDF or it looks like you can save to Google Drive. I mean if that's what you want to do that's totally fine. Um, but yeah just instead of clicking the printer that you want to use just go down a little bit further and click the um, save as a PDF. And then I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put out more videos on uh, couponing, knowledge, and things like that. Um, but that is the end, guys. That is the end of the video. I hope you liked this little tutorial and that it is helpful for you. And that is pretty much it, guys. I hope you have a great Sunday, and I will see you all later. Bye.